What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach Gaming Dad 25, and today we're gonna be talking about today going down in my team history. Let's get into it, man. But first, if y'all don't mind, if y'all don't mind, I want to show some love to some of these YouTube comments. Y'all have been showing so much love to these videos. It's only fair that I show love back to y'all. My boy. Oh my God. Okay. Acoustics. Acu acoustics. Oh my God. Sorry, man. I'm predicting AD will be the level 40 and Bronny as the pro pass. Man, bro pull from Curry range. Nobody was guessing Bronny. <laughs> and bro guess Bronny. Shout, shout out to acoustics. Secondly, we got a uh, Lake Demonic. Oh my God. These names are, are killing me today. He said, dude, I opened 121 pack right when they dropped, pulled an Opal Ant-Man, but not a single storyline card. Apparently someone forgot to click a box before leaving for the holidays and they weren't in packs at all. So this boy, this guy got blessed. Not only did he get his Anthony Edwards, he got his redo packs too. L lucky you man all right let's get in the community corner where i talk about the hottest topics around the twitter community and today was it was it was rough man when when i woke up this morning people were genuinely excited the whole timeline was full of people being excited for today not based on what we found out yesterday based on 2kdb dropping these cards my boy hibachi said no troll this lineup can compete I hate gassing lower cards, but today is a win for new players. Suspect it will be alongside the launch of my team mobile. This team is full of emeralds, rubies, sapphires, and it's good cards. That's what people were excited about. Just getting good cards. Even DBG replied to 2KDB's post and said, our budget cards back. DBG, who for the most part has nothing positive to say about the game this year, actually made a comment that you could perceive as somewhat positive our budget cards back today they were supposedly let's start where where the avalanche started decentric said so what's the word money down the drain how do we make right by everyone that got screwed on this this is the first person i saw talk about it 2k tweeted an hour after the packs were in the store saying that the cards were available <laughs> And people are starting to realize none of these cards were in the market. They were not in the packs. That's where the avalanche started. That's where the trouble started. That's when people truly start to get upset. Granted, they did start to do make rights, but, and granted the make rights are actually good because you got to keep all your original cards and pull brand new bundles too. Like uh, homeboy got Anthony Edwards and got to pull more bundles, which is dope. Don't get me wrong. But it was a terrible way to start the day and people weren't exactly happy about the event in general. And I'm just going to go on a bit of a tangent here, guys. This event was very frustrating. Um, I participated pretty heavy yesterday. I played a ton of triple threat, didn't pull anything from the packs, which is okay. Um, but the issue is these packs, they, they're super packs. They could take players from all the sets from season two. Possibly season one. Yeah, Decentric got LeBron. So so any set from the entire game. So these budget cards that we were all waiting for and happy to use aren't budget cards. Um, they're going for 20K because nobody's pulling them. So it's kind of like the feast of purpose. Maybe eventually down the line, they might get cheaper. But as of now, this entire event's a L. And I'm normally the first one to try and defend 2K a little bit and find the positive in something we got 10 deluxe packs which were cool um i pulled a couple of rubies um emerald sapphires a little bit of everything they were it was a really easy grind but the triple threat park event was bad like there's really nothing to be done there to be honest the packs are bad um nobody's pulling anything anthony davis is going for two million uh, the diamonds are going for crazy price. Dyson Daniels is like 250k. It's just today's just a really negative day for 2k. And I really hate to do this. I don't want to make like a negative video, but today one of these videos has to be made. My boy Josh 2K said, I'm gonna be hundred percent honest. This event might be the worst event in my team history. 
we're seeing emerald selling for 20k diamonds over 300k while we have opals in the game where's the access where's the accessibility these deluxe packs are garbage why even load this shit up that's just that's exactly what it is and this is gonna be a shorter one guys because i could just go through tweets on top of tweets on top of tweets of what 2k did wrong today I, I could go for an hour reading negative tweets but there, there's no point in doing that i just wanted to get my opinion on it briefly and kind of move on from it guys so i'm just going to be honest 2k needs to recover from this tomorrow and they need to give us you know a good locker code update the event maybe make an adjustment to the event i don't know if they will you know the event was bad when they announced opal david promises is level 40 which is probably the best level 40 we've had in a long time. Like literally like for his time, this could be the second best center in the game besides Wimby and not a lot of people have Wimby and people aren't even ha like people were happy to see D Rob, but nobody's talking about that. Everybody's talking about how bad this event was. Be better 2k. Hey, real quick guys, if you're sitting at work, listening to this video, just thinking, man, I wish I'd be grinding my rep right now. Be sure to check out my boy JD on Twitter. He'll hook you up with the best prices. Make sure to let him know that Gaming Dad sent you. He'll hook you up with the Showdown Ws, with the Level Grinds, Domination, Park Ws, Rep, or anything you need done as far as grinding on any console. Be sure to hit my boy up. Let him know Gaming Dad sent you. And you know he's going to take care of you, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to skip miscellaneous because today's not the day for that. <laughs> like I, I just feel so, so drained. But I do got moments for y'all. Okay. Uh, first moment, Trey Young dropping 20 points, 22 assists. Not only is that a phenomenal game, it was to beat the Cavs, who have the best record in the league. So Trey Young has done a, an amazing job adjusting into a better role. Not saying he wasn't playmaking well last year. This year, he's being a phenomenal playmaker. He's averaging a ton of assists. He's not scoring nearly as much, but it's helping the team win more games, I feel like. Shouts out to Trey Young. Now, our moment from history is going to be November 8th, 2012. November 28th, 2012. Rajon Rondo was ejected midway through the Boston Celtics game to the, against the Brooklyn Nets with only three assists in the game at the time of his ejection. Rondo's historic double-digit assist streak ended at 37 games. 37 games straight with 10-plus assists is crazy. So I think that'd be a good game to, like, rekindle it and not get ejected from the game is get 10 assists to complete the moment um that's gonna wrap it up man that's gonna wrap it up for today hopefully i come back with better news tomorrow hopefully the game is more fun tomorrow and hopefully 2k does something right for thanksgiving i hope you guys have an amazing thanksgiving i should have led with that i hope you guys have an amazing thanksgiving and spend some time with your family eat some good food and maybe 2K will be better tomorrow and we'll be happy. As always, y'all be safe. Peace.